taking a live look at Vatican City this Monday morning. It was 10 years ago today Pope Francis was elected as the head of the Catholic Church, despite him saying at one point he only wanted to hold on to the position for a few years. Correspondent Alex Salvi is live in Vatican City, St. Peter's Square, with more on the Pope's decade of leadership. Alex. Emma, 10 years into his papacy, Pope Francis marching ahead with many of his reforms despite criticisms and multiple health concerns. In fact, some would even argue that the pontiff is more emboldened today than at any point during his tenure after the passing of Pope Benedict just three months ago. Now, Pope Francis, of course, on the other side of the ideological spectrum than his conservative predecessor, but they never stopped him from making dramatic reform, such as doing away with the traditional Latin mass. Now, there is speculation that the 86-year-old will at some point resign due to health issues, an act that he once praised Benedict for doing, while initially saying that he only expected to hold this role for two to three years. Those who follow his life say that despite the rumors and even the desires of some, the Pope is likely staying in the role for the foreseeable future. The Pope to be in 86, he's extraordinary how he's doing, that it's very early to speak. Even that we know that th there are some sectors that would like to have a conclave, I think it's very uh, too early to speak about that. Now, conservative members of the church argue that Pope Francis is marching ahead with his vision and no longer trying to reach any compromise. His focus as of lately is incorporating more women into the church and diversifying those who hold leadership roles. He'll be holding two major meetings over the next two years aimed at enlarging the reach of the church with hot button issues such as the role of the family and sexuality expected to be examined. The Pope is also set to make several trips this year, including Hungary in April, Portugal in August, and possibly India as well, while recently reiterating his desire to visit Ukraine and Russia to hopefully play a role in brokering a peaceful solution to that conflict. Emma? All right, Alex, quick follow for you. Again, the Pope recently commenting on a social issue that's become a t major talking point in the States. What do we know about that? Yeah, that's right. Gender ideology. Pope Francis talking about that in particular, calling it one of the most dangerous ideological colonizations. In an interview with an Argentine newspaper, La Nación, he said the movement blurs the differences between yeah, men and women. The pontiff arguing that by ignoring those differences, it makes the individual dull, which is contrary to the human experience. So he's rejecting claims that he's writing a document on the matter, but adds that he believes it's important to speak on this subject since some people are naive and falsely believe that this conversation is a step towards progress, according to the pontiff. All right, live from Vatican City, Alex Salvi, thank you very much.